How to create the famous bleach bypass look inside of DaVinci Resolve which is known from the Terminator or John Wick just by yourself in just a few minutes, you're gonna find out right now. Coming up. Hi guys, my name is Paul, I'm a German based cinematographer and this channel is all about filmmaking, gear reviews but also DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribe, it really helps the channel. So liking, subscribing, sweet, hey. Please subscribe. <laughs> All right. So in today's video, we are talking about the bleach bypass look, uh, which you can create very easily inside of DaVinci Resolve. It's just a few steps. I promise it's not going to take very long. And I think this uh, look is very nice because it really creates um, a special kind of contrast in your image. And it's really famous because it's also used on John Wick or Terminator. And I think it really looks great in kind of industrial environment, but I will also show it in a different scenario so that you can judge for yourself. So without wasting any further time, let's jump into the computer. So here we are inside of DaVinci Resolve and as I've promised, I have a few um, yeah, examples here of shots that I did recently. Here we have a pizza shot, um, which we will make the beach bypass a look with and also the industrial um, what I also said. All right, let's start with the pizza. So the procedure is basically always the same. Just create a node with Alt S, another node and the third node we make option L to create a layer node and that's very essential. And then we make two more nodes that we have seven in total, something like that. And on the last note, we're gonna convert our log image into Rec 709. Uh, we're gonna do that by hopping on the color space transform, input color space. Here you have to choose what it was shot on. In my case, it was red, white, gamma, and RGB. And input gamma is red log 3G10. So if you have a Canon camera, just change it to Canon and it will look fine or Sony, Blackmagic, whatever. And output, since we want to output it in Rec 709, we have to output color space Rec 709 and gamma 2.4, boom, there we have it. Um, maybe you're asking yourself why put the CST at the end of the node tree. Well, inside before here, we are working in a much broader color space, which is the log color space or the log gamut of um, red. And here we have much more control about color, dynamic range and so on. So therefore that's the recommended way of doing it. All right, so now to create the beach, beach bypass look, we have to do two steps and they are very easy. Inside of this layer mixer node here, go on to the bottom node and go to um, RGB mixer and change it to monochrome. And now you see the image is black and white, which we don't want. So go to this thing here, uh, right click composite mode and change it to overlay. You can also use hard light. Um, hard light makes a little bit more extreme look, a little bit more contrast, but I find for 95% of my work, overlay is just perfect. So I change it to overlay. And now I just, I actually, I really like the way it looks right now. I could make some minor adjustments here, but I think it, it, look, it looks absolutely great. So let's do the same on this clip here. So now we have just a simple Rec 709 image and I go to the fourth node here on the bottom, change it to monochrome and the overlay in composite I change to, um, yeah, I change to overlay. So now I want to change a few things here. I find the amount of yellow in this image here a little bit distracting. So I go to this node here, go to hue versus saturation go to the yellow saturation and just decrease it. And I think already that looks much better, but I will also change a little bit of the um, yeah, exposure here and maybe color contrast. So I go into my HDR weirds and to make it even more um, adjusted to my camera color space, I go here into the right dots, color space and choose here wet, white, red, white, gamma RGB and onto gamma red log 3g 10. So onto global here I'm gonna decrease my exposure by yeah 30 ish something like that. I increase my light by about roughly the same and I decrease the 
shadows here so I create even more contrast that way. And yeah, that's something that I really like. And now I want to push a little bit more blue into the shadows or teal. Um, to create even more color contrast, I push into my light like a little bit like red, something like that. And I think that looks really awesome. So now you just can leave it as is or make fewer tweaks to your liking. But personally, I like this look a lot. And because of the desaturated look and also the contrast, I feel like it's really great for industrial work. Or you saw it even on a pizza, it looks great. So as promised, it didn't take very long to achieve this look. It's very simple, so just follow the steps by making the color space transform. Or if you have already shot an Rec 709 profile, just make a layer node, change it to monochrome, and then the composite mode change to overlay. And then you're 90% there. And from there, you just make final tweaks to your personal liking, and that's already it. So I hope you liked this kind of tutorial and if you did so, please don't forget to smash the like button. And if you have any further questions or whatever you want to see in the next video, just drop it down in the comments below and I'm gonna see you in my next one. Cheers!